video really is unbelievable. Police in Columbia, Tennessee tell us that the man you're about to see has a history of domestic violence. He now is facing attempted first degree murder charges after that shocking incident. Watch closely. This woman, Laquisha Dansby, is running for her life and ducks into this convenience store. Unfortunately for that man inside, the store owner there in yellow, he has no idea she's running from a speeding truck that's chasing her just seconds behind. It crashes through the door, fast, barreling in, running him over. Look in slow motion at his body pinned to the front grill as the truck collides into the counter. Multiple surveillance cameras capture the moment of impact as a witness calls 911. Oh my God, he just went into the store. He went into the store. Who did the man? Yes, ma'am, he said he hurt somebody. Amazingly, the store owner, Surrender Patel, gets up and is able to escape. Watch as the driver, Eric Whitaker, who allegedly had been chasing Dansby after a confrontation, gets out and seems to look for her under the truck. But she is safe on the other side, and when she sees him, she runs. Whitaker then calmly walks out as this woman, a nurse, runs in to help. I'm right behind him. He drives all the way down. And I see him take a, go across that curb and take that tree out. And at that point, I'm on the phone with the 911. But she's left her SUV at the gas pump. Whitaker sees it, gets in, and drives away. That's when I turn around and I notice the guys out at my car. And I'm like, oh my God, he's still in my car. That's right, stealing her car. But he foils his own getaway. Did you see that? We'll slow it down. That's him driving head on into a bread truck. The SUV's owner, still talking to 911, is stunned. He just stole my truck and hit somebody. I'll never forget it. Whitaker is now hospitalized in critical but stable condition. He's facing a litany of charges, including attempted first-degree murder, aggravated assault, and theft for taking that SUV. So I'm just out of car, and it's okay, though. You know, it's a small price to pay, really, to just to know everybody's okay. Nobody lost their life, you know. And the family of Mr. Patel, that convenience store owner who you saw there getting hit, they tell us that he is recovering, but that he suffered severe wounds to his face and chest. Yet they say, George, he is thankful to be alive. Oh, man, we're all thankful for that. And boy, that man was not meant to get away. Mm -mm, not at all. What do we do before all these cameras were everywhere <laughs> capturing everything?